Well, it's time to do a lab challenge. Thanks to the Boson NetSim product, we are going to have some fun in this course, making sure that we can properly make some key configurations and verifications, and we get things kicked off with the very important topic of IPv4 address configuration. So you've probably heard me say it before, I am addicted to exercises like this. I just think they are so incredible. So there you can see our lab topology and you can see the IP addressing that we need to get in place. And there are of course, step-by-step -step instructions that we need to follow. But one of the cool things is that we can really just kind of freestyle this based on the topology, there is one ingredient that is needed, and that is to set the speed on the router one serial interface, but we'll do that together per the instructions. So the first thing that I need to do is here on router one, get it set up with its proper host name, and that's gonna be router one. And so we double check that we've done that correctly. And then notice we have the interface fast ethernet zero slash zero, and we are going to apply to that interface the IP address 192.168.101.1 and a 24-bit mask. Now, it is very easy, trust me, to have typos introduced when you are doing these kind of configurations, and we're always rushing because we just never feel like there's enough time to do something like this. So I would encourage you to really slow down here in order to speed up. Accuracy is hugely important here. And notice how easy it would be to forget to no shut the interface as I just did. So that would be very easy to forget. Now we're gonna slide over to the serial zero slash zero interface. And we indicated that we needed to set the interface speed. So let's go ahead and see how we would do that. And the command that we are going to need under this serial interface is going to be the clock command. So notice I was initially going for the speed there, but the actual command is clock and then rate. And then we're gonna specify the rate, which is 64,000. And again, that was given to us in the scenario steps that we needed to solve. And then we can't forget the IP address. It's gonna be 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one and our 24 bit mask. So I'm entering that information very carefully. Let's not forget our no shut. And if we did that correctly, uh, we should be able to get a nice uh, bang for our buck with verification here now with show IP interface brief. And we can see excellent, we have the Fast Ethernet zero slash zero with the appropriate IP address. It's in the up, up state. And look at that, the serial zero slash zero is in the down, down state. It does have the correct IP address, but that down, down, I'm sure is gonna handle itself once we configure the other side of the link. And guess what? We're ready to do that now. So we are gonna slide over to our lab topology here, double click router two, in order to make our console to it. And first things first, let's do our host name, and this is gonna be router two. I'm gonna go back to my lab instructions so I can see my IP addressing that I need. And let's do that serial zero slash zero first. And there we go. And we're gonna do an IP address of 192.168.1.2 and our 24 bit mask. And then we are gonna do our no shut and we are super curious if this works. Show IP interface brief. Yes, we are up, up. If we were to slide over to router one and rerun our show IP interface brief, we can see that serial link has achieved that nice up, up status that we want. So we cannot forget here on router two and notice I was just on router one. It's easy to make that mistake, be on the wrong router. So that's something else to watch out for. But we can't forget the fast ethernet interface over here. And it is IP address 192.168.100.1 and the 
24-bit mask. We can't forget our no shut. We're going to end. And we are well on our way. The last thing for us to do is go ahead and handle the configuration of the hosts. And this is not something that we would be responsible for in a Cisco exam environment. And in fact, we do it a uh, just interesting way in the Boson simulator. We use the IP config forward slash IP to get this done. And this is not realistic to an actual like Windows host or anything like that, but it is just a nice way to get this configured for our lab testing purposes. I just don't want you to memorize this syntax from a Cisco exam perspective. And then we do the default gateway with the forward slash DG and the default gateway for this host is 192.168.101.1. And that's the address that we assigned on the router, of course. One of the verifications that they wanted us to do, by the way, they being Boson, is for us to ping the default gateway as a nice verification. So if I ping 192.168.101.1, we hopefully will get a response, and we do. So that is host A pinging the fast Ethernet interface of router 1 that we configured. Well, you know what's left. We got to slide over to the host B device, and we're going to say our IP config forward slash IP command over here is going to be 192.168.100.2, and it is our 24-bit mask, and then IP config forward slash default gateway, and that's going to be 192.168.100.1. And then, as they asked us to do, we will ping that default gateway from the host B system, and that worked great. So we are really feeling good here about our success in this lab challenge. I think I am ready with my additional verifications that I've done. So we went above and beyond from a verification standpoint. I do think I'm ready and I always get butterflies in my tummy when I'm about to do this. We're about to go ahead and grade our lab experience. I just love this. And look at that. We did everything beautifully. So router one, uh, all of our configurations checked out perfectly. Router two, host A and host B. And look at that. We didn't even have any uh, extra commands that were not needed. So that's always a great thing. So there we have it, a wonderful lab challenge there on getting IP addressing properly in place. Notice that I really did verify as I went along and I really tried to slow myself down a bit so that I increased the accuracy of my configurations.